This morning, the largest criminal trial in French history. 20 defendants, 330 lawyers, and hundreds of witnesses, deeply scarred by what they saw and survived the night of November 13, 2015. I still live it every day. Helen Wilson from L.A. was at the Bataclan Theater with her boyfriend, Nick Alexander. We heard pop, pop, pop and kept watching and it was it was like in slow motion and then a guy pushed open the door with one hand and had a gun in the other hand and started shooting people. Helen and Nick were both shot that night. She held him until he died. The assault on Paris that Friday night was the deadliest attack on French soil since World War II, organized and carried out by ISIS. This was a three-hour military-style ambush from the Stade de France at Paris's packed sidewalk cafes at the Bataclan Theater. 130 people killed, more than 400 injured. The main defendant, Salah Abdeslam. Are we going to learn anything new? If he talks. If he talks. Big if. He didn't say anything to anybody since he was arrested. Nothing. Oh, no. Not one thing. Attorney Samia Maktouf represents 40 survivors and victims' families. The truth is justice. And to understand what happened on the 30th of November 2013 is important. Helen is learning to cope with the pain of her injuries, but she's determined to look the defendants in the eye. I'm going to do whatever I can to make sure that, that my voice is heard and that his voice is heard, and that all of those other people that are no longer with us are heard through me. Helen Wilson is scheduled to testify in October. The trial itself is expected to last nine long months with a verdict sometime at the end of May. Possibly. The defendant, Salah Abdeslam, has neither admitted nor denied he took part in those attacks. In his last trial in Brussels, he said his silence was his defense. Hoda? Um, Kelly, uh, justice a long time coming there in Paris for us. Thank you.